Hello everybody, in this short key shot demo, I would like to show how we can create this kind of effect which is the simulation of the wearing off of paint over a metallic object. Okay. For this demo, we will require version 11 of Keyshot. Okay, let's start. The first thing I want to do is to head over to the material library to assign the base material for the object which is uh, going to be a plastic hard going to be a red hard plastic this will simulate the the paint okay and now what you do is to create the metallic effect over here to simulate what is underneath the paint when it's being one off okay and i reckon i need to open up the material graph so i'm going to right mouse click go to edit material graph to open up the material graph for this material and we need to plug the metal material as a label so what i'm going to do is right mouse click go to materials metal and then plug it into a label socket I'm going to highlight this and do a little bit of adjustments to its parameters. Maybe make this a little bit darker. Maybe bring up the roughness value a little bit. Okay, something like that. And you notice that now the whole entire object has been sort of like wrapped up with this label, the metallic one, which is not our intention. Our intention is to have it only around here and to constrain the material to only this region we can use the opacity channel okay so what we're going to do is have this highlighted go to the texture tab and we need to apply a 3d paint to the opacity channel we can do so by right mouse clicking over the opacity channel go to texture 3d paint okay and you'll notice that now we have a new node being added and it's connected to the opacity socket of the metal material okay so now let's do some 3d painting so i go to highlight this and you'll notice that we have these uh paint tools being displayed mm, we have options like brush shapes for us to uh, apply and what I'm going to do is uh, to provide for a more realistic brushing I want to add a shape and I can do so by going to the texture tab to pull out an existing brush maybe let me see what is suitable Maybe I'll just use this, okay? So I'm going to drag this and put it here, okay? Put it here, okay? And we can play with parameters such as the size, the opacity, okay? Let me just swing this a little bit, okay? So you can see better. So I guess maybe I will just have this size and once you're ready to paint, you can click on uh, this button here and we can start to do our painting. Let me zoom in slightly. Okay, now I'm applying this uh, brush tool here, okay? We have other options like the stamp tool, which is stamping instances of the brush. And we have the, the, the eraser tool as well. Later, I might need to use the eraser. So you can see that I'm like painting using the brush tool. OK. 
Okay, I reckon that the effect is like quite even and it's not very realistic. So what I can do is to apply a bit of erasing. You can, can do so by now clicking on the eraser and then apply a bit of erasing. You can see you can erase off some of the stuff. And you can also play with the opacity to control the blend, so to speak. Okay, so maybe I'll just a little bit of opacity value. Before I do the erasing. You'll notice that now, yeah, you can see it's more realistic because you still can see some of the metallic um, material being blended with the red paint coat. Maybe a little bit here. maybe something like that so this can be used to simulate like this kind of effect and with that i come to the end of this demo hope this has been useful see you bye